guys, we're gonna, ah, 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 cramp, I gotta cramp, I gotta cramp, oh crap. Right. Guys, today we're gonna look at the Beyond EDC Gara designed by Dirk Pickerton. So let's turn this around and take a look at that from above. Holy crap, that hurt. Guys, this is the Beyond EDC Gara designed by Dirk Pinkerton. Now, this is a great, great name. I'm going to tell you right now, um, you can pick all of the knives up at Beyond EDC, including the Terra Mundi line for 40% off with my coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, all lowercase. So at any rate, that out of the way. This thing is awesome. So really interesting design here. Beautiful micarta handles. Talon style blade is what they've got it listed as. Um, let's get some specs out of the way. We'll do some size comparison and I'll tell you how cool this knife is after we get that out of the way. So you're looking at an overall length of 7.16 inches. It is a VG10. You see right there, VG10 stainless steel blade done in a Talon style blade shape. Uh, this is got a blade length of 3.07 inches. So just about three inches. It's a liner lock with these beautiful micarta scales. Now they come in a few different colors. I think there's at least three different colors if I remember correctly. Um, it is deployment method is that fuller there. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but it's really a good, good deployment on this. Your weight on this is coming in at 3.9 ounces, so just at four ounces. And this is a great, great little pocket knife. Let's get some size comparison out of the way. First knife is Spyderco PM2. We do these size comparisons because just me telling you the blade length and everything doesn't give you a real good reference. So pretty well-known knife. Let's move on to the next knife. Bench made Osborne 940, one of the best known knives in the knife industry. You can see it's a little bit longer than the Gera. And the final knife is the Chris Ree Sabenza Large 21. You can see here, size comparison wise, most of you guys are gonna have that as a good size reference. Let's get all this stuff out of the way and talk about this knife. So I have carried this knife a lot and I really fell in love with it. If you guys remember the first impressions video, I'll put that up here. I really talked about how much I enjoyed having this knife here. I love a really nicely done recurve. Dirk's designs are always great. You've got a beautiful behind the edge thickness on this, like almost every one of his knives. Comes down nice and thin behind the, behind the edge. This recurve on this is not a super deep recurve, so it's a little bit easier to sharpen with some of the stones. I mean, you're still gonna have to have at least like a one inch stone to get it best, preferably a half inch stone, not as deeply recurved as a lot of other knives. Handles on this beautiful micarta on this. This is a canvas micarta. This is black. There's a brown. I, I think there's one more color at least on their website. Liner lock with really good access to the lock bar. Even though it's fairly thin, it's not been done too thin. Some companies like to take this down really thin and it takes away from your ability to uh, to re to get the access to that lock bar and on this one it's just about the right mix nice and softened and they removed some material here the liners on this have got jimping on both sides and in the scale so you can see right here it's been jumped but there is weight reduction in this which makes this not a real heavy knife it's under four ounces uh deployment like i said this fuller you can slow roll off of that fuller or because it's got a hard edge a fairly hard edge there, you can reverse flick off of it nicely. It does a great, great job. Um, the jimping on this is really interesting. So you can see you've got all this jimping here and then jimping up here. I really dig this. It just feels comfortable because on this, you've got this, the, this dip here that comes off of the back of the handle and drives into this backside recurve on this and so you've got an area for jimping all the way up on your thumb typically i'm not a fan of jimping all the way back here but because this is hollowed out it feels really good because you can get back here you can get all the way up here and you've got really really good purchase lock up on this i just saw jared's video yesterday where he yesterday where he was testing and i so be careful i've had zero issues with this um, there is no blade play, no lock rock at all. Really some fairly early lockup. So you're going to have a long lifetime on this knife. The action on it, nice and smooth. All the Beyond EDC knives were really smooth. Now in hand, we talked about that little curvature here. When you're cutting, this thing just sits in your hand beautifully like this. But also if you want to get it in a reverse grip, 
say you're wanting to carry this as a self-defense tool, which it would work as, it feels really good in a reverse grip. You can also get on it like this if you're doing some cutting through rope and things like that. I did cut some line and stuff like that with this knife. Now, I did not use this knife as heavily as some other knives because it's just, it's a knife that it's not one that is one I'm going to carry all the time. But I will tell you when you do cutting, especially like some on cardboard, when you cut into this recurve, it just drives in and it continues to cut all the way up. Just a lot of cutting power in this knife. And then the aesthetics of this are just great. I love having a fuller that some people disagree with me. I love a fuller that runs the full length of the blade. Uh, it just gives it a unique look up at the front. You don't have to have a lot of facets or anything on that. And then the grind that was on this, and this is another reason I didn't use this as much. I love the way this knife looks. It's a beautiful knife with that finish. And VG10 is a really good steel. Spyderco used, has used it for years on a lot of their knives. Some of my favorite knives from Spyderco have been in um vg10 and then the last thing pocket clip is a deep carry pocket clip and it's kind of proud and i was surprised it's really thick it's kind of proud but it is in a position where it's not at all a hot spot for me it might not be the same for everyone and it is ambidextrous it is a reversible pocket clip so with all that being said there are a couple things that i don't like about the knife and we will talk about those in just a second after you hear an ad from a sponsor Guys, you've heard me talk about Coffee Brand Coffee a bunch of times. I'm going to do it again real quick. Coffee Brand Coffee is a channel sponsor. They are a great company sponsoring small channels like mine, but they also are a guilt-free purchase because they do not practice any politics. They have a money-back guarantee, and they roast their coffee on demand. So if you're interested in it, my, my link down below in the videos saves you 10% at checkout, sometimes more depending on what they've got going on as far as specials and sales. So go check them out. Great product. Thank you very much for sponsoring the channel, Coffee Brand Coffee. Let's get back to the knife. So just a couple small things on this. First of all, I think that this would have, as much as I like the idea of the fuller being the only deployment, gives you a nice clean look on this. I think a thumb stud at the very back would have been beneficial. Just a thumb stud right there, and then you can still reverse flick off of the fuller. Uh, next thing, the pocket clip is a good pocket clip, and I don't have a lot of problems with it, but I, you can see here where that tightens down, and then there is a hard edge. This is raised up above now i think somebody told me that they've changed this and it's milled out as opposed to being raised um but what happens is pants material catches on that and then it's harder to get it down deep in the pocket it catches and it does you have to push it down in especially on thicker pants could not get this on the pocket of my 511s uh, because they have that reinforced canvas lip on the pocket could not get it on there to save my life it's really a tight fit um, there are no screws on this side. There's no, well, because it's raised, there's no plate, no screws or anything to keep this from getting dirty and filled up. Next thing. Uh, I mentioned the jimping back here. If you guys are a fan of that, they did a really good job of it. I like the fact that the, that the jimping is all the way through everything, but I'm not a real big fan of jimping in these areas just because I don't like the look of it. So that's an aesthetic thing for me. And then the final thing is I don't like flathead hardware. I don't. I don't like flathead hardware on anything. I really I don't I don't ever have a flathead with me very often. Uh, a lot of times I do have a little kit that's got all the torx bits I would need. So you're going to have to have a flathead which for most of us knife guys is not actually in our knife kit. And then the final thing, T6 screws t sip screws are famous for stripping out. I would have liked to have seen larger screws T8 head on this because t 8s so much more robust hardware. But as far as day-to-day -day carry, I love this knife. I'm not, give, I'm not getting rid of this. This is not going to be a giveaway. This is going to be mine because I really do like the design. And I've, I've liked almost all the Pinkerton designs. So with that being said, guys, let's turn us around and do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. So guys... With the horrible incident at the beginning of the video, I, I absolutely love this knife. This is a great, great knife. If you like recurve blades, this is a nice one. Nice, gentle sweep to it. Still usable, still functional, great steel. Absolutely an awesome, awesome knife. And uh, like I said, you can pick these up for 40% off. Guys, well, that's it on this one. 
uh, you know what to do. I know I put a sponsored ad link in there somewhere. So, you know, I've got sponsors down below, Coffee Baron Coffee and Tempered Trail. Both have discounts built into their coupon codes. Check out the coffee. There is a sale going on currently as I'm filming. So um, I have affiliate links to most of the major vendors down below. You can follow those links, use them for all the shopping you're going to do. Remember that I also have an Amazon store. Take that link, pin it to your browser, use it for all your Amazon shopping. You can also save 40% at Beyond EDC with my coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, all lowercase. It also saves you 10% at Fire and Forge Knife Works, 10% at Rosecraft Blades, and 10% at Katsu Knives. I have a public Discord down below where it says join the community in the description. And I also have a membership where I do giveaways, I have exclusive content, I have a premium tier sharpening tutorial series, and a private Discord where all the members hang out. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.